Hey everyone, so I thought this would be a helpful video for any of you that have a hard time cutting straight lines or just cutting pieces of metal or trimming up stuff because I have talked with a lot of you and you have arthritis and sawing a straight line is pretty much excruciating. So I made this video for Pepe Tools that's actually over here about the tool that I have sitting right here, which is a basically a four inch uh, guillotine shear. So you just pull down and it cuts metal. But I thought it would be helpful for you guys. I wasn't going to even release this video because I made it just for them for Instagram, but I think it'll be helpful. So here we go. All right, so this is the four inch guillotine. And I'm gonna show you some practical uses for this for making your work a lot faster so you don't have to saw or trim pieces the normal way using shears or a jeweler's saw for the most part for bigger pieces that you just need perfect lines for. So this is a very simple setup of a machine. It basically just has a lever that you pull and it pushes the guillotine down and cuts your metal. So on the back there's a guide for measuring. So all you have to do is loosen up this screw right here and if you pull this back, you can move this to wherever you need your measurement to be for cutting. So let's say we wanted to do 10 millimeters. I would put this over here and just lock this down. The top guide up here is also adjustable. So if you do get one and it's off, do some test cuts, of course. So you can move this around so everything is right on spec. So if we come over to the other side, you can see that it has a nice flat area here with different cut angles that you can move your guide across. So you don't have to actually measure your angles if you're needing them. And to loosen this, all you do is release both the tension on both of these and slide this to where you need it and line it up with the marks that are already on here and just tighten it up. So I'm just going to stick with zero degrees. So what can you do with this? Well, you can cut sheets of metal with basically a perfect line every time and make it extremely quick and easy. You are limited on your thickness, so you can cut almost anything up to an 18 gauge, which is a little over one millimeter. That being said, you could technically cut higher than that, but it's not suggested. And make sure you're only cutting soft metals. Don't try to put a piece of steel through this. You're just gonna ruin it. So stick with your gold, silver, copper, brass, bronze, nickel, all that should work fine. So I have this scrap piece here that has a texture on it, and I wanna remove this and have a flat, clean line. This is 0.3 millimeters thick, so it should be very easy to cut. I can also clean up this side if I wanted to. So what I'm going to do is take this. So I'm just going to take this and put it under here. This is a protector guide. With something like this, I don't really care what the measurement is. I just need it to cut here. So in the back, I'm just going to move the measurement out of the way. As you can see, if you look straight down, you could see where the guillotine is actually going to come in contact with it. So I could just leave that there and hold it down. And I'm just gonna push it up against this to make sure everything is nice and straight. And then I'm going to pull down. And I'll leave us with a nice clean line. And like I said, if I wanted to clean up this other side, I just do the same thing. And there we go. I have really clean edges to work with now. So another thing you can do to save a lot of time is if you're going to be making pieces that are at the same exact size and a lot of them. So say if you're going to use some copper wire to make some copper balls and you need this exactly the same size every time. Well, I can just set this to about five millimeters on the back. So once I have that, I can just take this wire and feed it through here and keep cutting the same exact size just with a single pole. So this is one of the things that it shouldn't be able to cut. It's two millimeters, but this is copper, which is very soft. So if I put it in here like so, 
I can just keep feeding this through. And end up with the same size piece over and over again and be able to make these extremely quick. Instead of having to cut them with some sort of shears or sawing these out to the right size, you could just use this. So one other thing you could do is cut from large pieces of metal because this will cut up to four inches. And say if you wanted to make a ring blank and you already have a large piece of sheet metal, you could take this and measure it out. So I want it to be 10 millimeters thick. So I'll just take this and you can see it is 0 0.75 millimeters. Just put it in there like so and pull it down. This does take a lot more force because you're cutting across a larger area. So there you go, you have your ring blank. And this one's a little bit off because of how the cut was previously, it was slanted, but that's pretty much it. You can just cut these out real quick and then cut them down to size even and have exactly what you need cutting down on sawing time. Because I know a lot of people either can't saw straight lines or it's very difficult on their wrist because a lot of people have arthritis. So this should take care of a lot of that problem. So it requires almost no sawing. And the last thing is you can use this to clean up any of your uh, rolled out sheets of silver that you make or gold if you need them to be perfectly square or have angles in them. You can do that with this and clean them up to make them a lot easier to work with or have different edges to work off. So that's pretty much the gist of it. And what I didn't add in there is you can get $30 off on one of these if you use my code meow at checkout. It also helps support the channel, but I want to make sure that you guys get something out of it too. So anything you order off of Pepe Tools, as you might already know, use my code meow and get $30 off. And that's about it. So I'm going to continue packing. As you can see, my area is nice and barren now. And I'm just about ready to leave on my trip to move. So, see you guys next time. Bye.